Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life. And in this video, I just wanted to briefly, briefly speak on Dish. I know I have yet to make any videos on this. I know they've made a couple of tower deals here and there, but I just feel like they aren't serious. We have yet to hear them say anything on their earnings call that says, oh, we're 10% or 20% along with network build. Nothing. We haven't heard anything. They're just demoing one site or two sites in these areas and they say, oh, we put up a site. That's not going to work. Also, hearing Charlie Ergen say that they're going to stretch $10 billion over seven years, it didn't sit right with me. But this acquisition today to um, dish to acquire MVNO Republic Wireless, that got my attention a little because now they're going to receive revenue from 200,000 more customers. So that got my attention a little bit. The MVNO that the, the service provider that provided service for this MVNO was T-Mobile. So nothing changes. It's, it's almost as if these customers were on Boost Mobile anyways. So the service provider doesn't change. They'll still be on the same network with T-Mobile. What does change now, those people that were paying Republic Wireless are now going to start paying Dish, Dish Network. So that means they're going to start taking over the operations. Do those customers now belong to Boost Mobile? Perhaps. Is that the brand that Dish is going to move forward with once they go into the postpaid space? We don't know. They haven't really disclosed any of that. Um, I know that there, there have been talks of of the, the Ting, I believe it's what it's called, to, for them to use that back-end system. But again, it's it's not. they're not very vocal. They haven't talked much on any of their earnings calls about this. We don't even know when they're going to fully enter the postpaid space. As of today, there's only three carriers in the U.S., one, two, and three, which is Verizon, AT&T, and T-Mobile. DISH is not yet part of that conversation. And they need to hurry because T-Mobile and Verizon and AT&T are going to get stronger and stronger and stronger, and they're going to fall further behind. So are they going to try to make more of these purchases into the MVNO space? Sure. Is you know T-Mobile, Verizon, and, and AT&T going to try to do that as well? Yes. Is that bad for the MVNO space? Potentially. That could be bad. As the, as the carriers get stronger, they, come, they have more free cash flow, which means more freedom to buy up these smaller carriers that are struggling, or smaller MVNOs, I should say. And some of these come with additional spectrum and network infrastructure to expand the bigger carriers' networks then so be it. That's what they're going to likely do. Verizon just did it with Bluegrass. They've done it in the past decades. They've, that's how they have achieved the network size that they are today. They gobbled up the regional carriers. And T-Mobile has done that in Iowa. They've done it in with Chantel. And they've done it with Swifttail in the Dakotas. So it's a viable option. And if the money is there, if the profits are there, they're likely to try to acquire the, the smaller player. So one of the smaller, you could say a bigger, smaller player is U.S. Cellular. Is anyone going to try to purchase them? We, we, we don't know as of yet. Of course, there, there haven't been any rumbles or rumors. I'm not trying to start any. But people have talked about it in the past as a speculation that, you know, maybe T-Mobile can buy U.S. Cellular and gain their coverage. They've, they've talked about that with Band 12 back then because... U.S. Cellular owned Band 12. So those are all possibilities, of course, all speculative. So I don't know if that's any of that's true, but I could see that working for T-Mobile if that were to ever get the case. U.S. Cellular is going to try to get into 5G. They've been buying Spectrum for it, but they aren't necessarily big enough to, to compete with the big shots. And as Verizon and AT&T's networks get more extensive in coverage and T-Mobile as well, there's less of a need for U.S. Cellular. Sprint was a huge partner with U.S. Cellular for coverage. T-Mobile was too. In some parts of Oklahoma, I believe Verizon and AT&T also chipped in on U.S. Cellular. But now that they're expanding their coverage, there's no longer a need for the roaming. T-Mobile, eventually, they'll get there too. They won't need any roaming. So U.S. Cellular might be a weaker player in that environment. So we'll see what happens. Of course, this is all early. Dish buying this uh, MVNO did get my attention a little bit. I'm like, okay, we've seen them do the tower deals. Now we're seeing them acquire some MVNOs. 
you know, what's to come next? What, you know, in the next couple of weeks, are we going to hear them buy another MVNO or strike another tower deal? So that kind of got my attention a little bit. So I just wanted to make a real brief video, likely won't hear much more from it unless they start getting real serious. If they get on the next earnings call and they say, OK, we're 20 percent along the way with our network build in New York City, then I'm going to be like, OK, now it's time to now it's time to put the spotlight on dish. They're, they're starting to build. But until then, I'm really not interested in. And anything they have to say, they, they got to start telling me, OK, 20 percent, then we got to we got to start looking. OK, this is actually true. So we got to see some truth to it. Might have to go into some crowdsourced maps or or whatever. You know, maybe so people can 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 see it out in the wild. We don't know yet, but we'll definitely keep an eye on this. This is just a brief video letting you guys know Dish did acquire Republic Wireless, which is uh, which is on T-Mobile's network to begin with, so not not a big deal for T-Mobile. But I think you know gaining two hundred thousand customers that are going to pay Dish now, I think that's a big deal, and we'll see what di what Dish does in the future. So if you have been on the channel or you're new to the channel and you have not yet liked, shared, subscribed, make sure you do so. Hit the notification bell and hit all so you are notified when all the content is uploaded. Make sure to follow the social media outlets for more updates and interactions. This is Tyrone with Tech Life. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.